wanted to show you in a structured way what happens when mom lets go of his hand at the pool. And this is a, a big problem in the community of swimmers with autism and sensory issues. Luckily enough, James has been in our adapted swim program for a couple of years. And he has a safe routine of going on his back and floating. He doesn't express himself much with words. And mom has had situations where he has bolted away before. So it gives mom a whole lot of peace of mind that she knows in the unlikely event that he did get away to a pool or a pond or a body of water that he would know how to independently propel himself and have the ritual and routine of finding his feet. So mom is up here and um, how's the peace of mind knowing that you can understand that he would independently propel himself? It's life changing, life changing. So, so, so she's saying it's just life changing and James wears a bracelet and he will take a piece of equipment, he'll independently propel himself, he'll go to an area, find his feet, but he's really been embraced in the, in the program of the 14 most commonly seen universal roadblocks for kids of all abilities and had some really specific trained instruction of learning how to become safer and independent in the water. So thanks for watching. James, can you say bye? Bye. Nice job. Can you look up? Say bye. Bye.